So I think Taylor and Brian have been absolutely supportive in um, pushing higher education as an agenda in the state legislature and uh, putting students' needs and representation first. And I think it's looked like a couple of things going on. I think the first thing is they're absolutely supportive of my role as the director of government relations and supporting me in whatever I needed. So that looked like um, helping me with whatever work I had going on, making sure the staff was coordinated to follow and um, work on the issues I was working on, and just general support. Um, and the second thing I would say is that they were directly working with a lot of these issues hands-on. Taylor was down at OSU Day, Brian went down and testified about accessibility issues. Um, they're very, both very busy people, but they both understand the importance that students have in student voice in the state legislature. And so um, they were both very much supportive themselves as any opportunity they had to go out and be vocal and be student leaders on the state le level. And then lastly, I think we saw a lot of really positive impacts by building coalitions across the state, working through the Oregon Student Association. Um, we saw a lot of the, the desires and needs and goals we wanted to met uh, to meet this year be met um, through united like rallying efforts and uh, coordinating efforts and having students show up and voice opinions. And so all year long, um, Brian Taylor has definitely been super supportive in our work and we've seen a lot of victories. And so some of those victories look like uh, the LGBTQT data collection bill, which basically helps students um, who are entering higher education um, acknowledge their identities that they may have and also get support from the university based on those identities and because there's a shortfall oftentimes based on some of those identities that people like uh, some of those identities that people have and their ability to perform in higher education just because they don't have as much support. Um, this also looks like continued efforts um, for accessibility funding. It looks like we're going to get some amount allotment of um, money specifically here at OSU to improve accessibility issues. Um, that was done through works working with administration, working with the state legislature, working with the higher education commi uh, coordinating commission. And so all those things put together we've seen a lot of victories. And then the most substantial and I think one of the biggest impacts that everyone talks about is affordability. Um, affordability is a tough issue because it has the biggest monetary buy-in. But at the same time, uh, we're seeing a lot of positive impacts, and we're seeing a lot of uh, positive um, progress towards reaching the number we call the magic number, the 755 number. And uh, Brian and Taylor have been super supportive in making sure any way that they can, any way that staff can, any way administration can, be supportive in achieving that. And we're on really positive ground to make that number happen and maybe have those tuition increases that are happening here on our campus um, go down a lot or maybe go away, hopefully. So. Uh, Brian and Taylor have been absolutely supportive in giving me opportunities and giving this administration opportunities to be vocal and advocates for students in higher education.